Hello YouTube and welcome back. Tom Glavin was drafted by Atlanta Braves in 1984. Four days before that, he was also drafted by the LA Kings. He chose to go and play baseball for the rest of his life. But what if he would choose NHL over MLB? Today we will bring Glavin back to the LA Kings. He will play five seasons with the current LA Kings team. But there is a catch. He will start as a 50 overall player. After every season, we will spin a wheel of upgrades. We have two challenges. We want to see if we can get Glavin up to the 99 overall by the end of season 5 and also win a Stanley Cup. Okay, we are about to go and play our first season, but before we do that, let's quickly go and see how the lines look like. Because Glavin is only 50 overall, we will play him on the second line. He probably would be a good fit on the fourth line, but you know what? If this guy is coming back to NHL and actually helping LA Kings to get that Stanley Cup, we need to give him some ice time. Okay, let's go and see the season one and see where did we end. LA Kings ended in the last place in the Pacific Division, 72 points, 33, 43 and 6. Anze Kopitar was leading the team with 70 points, 31 goal and 39 assists. Somehow, even surprisingly, Tom Glavin ended up with 8 goals in 82 games and minus 20. Obviously, he's 50 overall player, so there is no questions asked about why his performance is so bad. So, let's go and spin the wheel, see what can we upgrade and what the wheel actually looks like. Just to quickly have a look what we actually have on the wheel. So, there is minus 20 on all attributes, just to make it more fun. We have plus 30 on all skating stats, max out one attribute, plus 30 on all shooting stats, plus 30 on faces because he plays in the center, plus 30 on all hand stats. We can also take one superstar from any team. It would not help us with our 99 challenge, but it would help us with the Stanley Cup. Plus 30 on all checking stats and plus 30 on all defense stats. Okay. Take one superstar from any team. This is something we need to think about. He went and took Nathan McKinnon from Colorado Avalanche. I know, I know, we could possibly go and take McDavid, Matthews, or any other player, but I think McKinnon will be probably the best fit because he can play in the center and in the right wing. And I will try him in the first line, in on the wing, and see how that helps. So the lines are pretty much the same, except that McKinnon is now on the first line with Kopitar and Tom Glavin is on the second line still. So hopefully next time we can actually spin the wheel and maybe get some upgrades from an actual player. Okay, now we are talking. We ended in the second place in Pacific Division. 92 points, 42, 32 and 8. If we check the entire league, we ended in the 12th place as well. Not really bad position. Not a surprise that McKinnon is leading the team in points, 48 goals and 40 assists. Tom Glavin had 12 goals in 82 games, no assists, and I think actually he's doing good if we consider he, then he's still 50 overall only. On our second season, we already made a playoff, so let's see who are we facing in the first round. Okay, Vegas Golden Knights. This will be fun. Unfortunately, in a seven game series, Golden Knights are advancing to the second round, and LA Kings are going to spin the wheel. Let's go, that's probably one of the best things we could choose. We can go and max out one attribute. Okay, we can max out one attribute to the maximum, and I think we will go and do that with the shooting. Slapshot power goes up to the 99. Slapshot accuracy goes up to the 99. Wish shot power goes up to the 99. And wish shot accuracy goes up to the 99. Okay, Tom Glavin have 99 in all the shooting stats. So let's go into the season three and see if we can score a little bit more goals than we did in the season one and season two. LA Kings are making difference. We ended in the first place in Pacific Division, 97 points. We also are in the eighth place in the entire league. Nathan McKinnon still leading the team with 92 points, 44 goals and 48 assists. Increasing the shooting stats made a difference. Tom Glavin ended the season with 34 goals, but zero assists. I think we need to get him a little bit more on the ice because in a baseball, as a pitcher, he probably is used to play on his own, where this, this is a team sport, mate. Again, we are in the playoffs. In the first round, we'll be facing Dallas Stars. Okay, in the six-game series, we are advancing to the second round. In the second round, we are facing Edmonton Oilers and Connor McDavid. And LA Kings in five game series are advancing to the conference finals. Before we go into the conference finals, let's have a quick look on how the team is doing. Nathan McKinnon, 50 points in 11 games. Kopitar, 11 points. 
Vlamin is not doing bad. He has six goals in 11 games. So considering he's overall, I'm actually quite impressed. Okay, Minnesota Wilds, LA Kings. Game seven, who is going to play in the finals? Oh my god, LA Kings will face New York Rangers in the finals. That reminds me of 2014 when LA Kings won their second cup in the second overtime. That's incredible. Let's see if we can actually do that again. Okay, after two games, Rangers are leading. Okay, three games and Rangers won every single one. Quite sad, we're well, not gonna lie, New York Rangers are your Stanley Cup champions. As a Rangers fan, obviously I'm happy every single time Rangers can win a cup, even if it's a video game. As we are playing this series and I want LA Kings to win a Stanley Cup because it's one of our challenges, I'm quite sad. So let's go and spin the wheel to see if we can make Glavin a little bit better for Season 4. Okay, this is something I was scared of. Because we already maxed out shooting and now we have plus 30 on all shooting stats, we basically cannot do anything because there is nothing else we can add. So let's go into the season 4 and see how good we can be. Okay, for season 4 we'll try something different. Nathan McKinnon will be our first line center, Kopitar will be our second line center, when Tom Glavin will be our third line center. We want him to score goals but we also have to win Stanley Cup. So, I don't think we will be able to achieve the 99 already, so at least maybe we can win a Stanley Cup. Absolutely incredible season. 103 points. 48, 27 and 7. And we are in the 4th place in the entire league. Nathan McKinnon leading the team with 86 points, 43 goals and 43 assists. Kopitar straight after him with 61 points. Glavin ended the season with 30 goals. Absolutely incredible. Again, zero assists, he's not a team player, he's here to dominate on himself. So let's go and see who are we facing in the playoffs. In the first round, we will be facing Vancouver Canucks. Okay, let's simulate the game seven and see who is going to the second round. And unfortunately, LA Kings are going to spin the wheel because we are not advancing to the second round. Nathan McKinnon was trying his best in seven games, 12 points, six goals and six assists. Even Tom Glavin somehow scored three goals. Okay, we will add plus 30 to his face-off stats. And his face-off is going up to the 99. Tom Glavin is now 58 overall. All his shooting stats and face-offs are 99. We'll go into the season 5 to see how far and how good we can do. Also, after the season 5, we will still spin a wheel to see what else we can add to Tom Glavin's attributes to see what is the final overall. Not the best season for LA Kings, we ended in the third place in Pacific Division, 94 points, 43, 31 and 8. If we check the entire league, we ended in the 16th place. I was expecting Nathan McKinnon to actually be our leader, obviously he is leading the team with 80 points, 35 goals and 45 assists, but he's not McDavid, so probably I made a mistake and next time we will go and bring someone else into the team. The selfish Tom Glavin have 40 goals, 0 assists. He also took 1,028 face-offs and won 617. We was barely there, we barely get into that playoff spot, but in the first round we'll be facing Edmonton Oilers. And it's very sad, in the five game series, Oilers are advancing to the second round and LA Kings are going golfing. We didn't want a Stanley Cup, we was in the finals once and that reminded me of 2014 when Rangers and LA Kings played in the finals. LA Kings won in 2014, today we lost. Also, after five seasons, Tom Glavin is currently 58 overall player. But we will spin the wheel one more time to see what would be the overall after everything we done. So the last upgrade from Tom Glavin in this video will be... Are you kidding me? We ended the video with Tom Glavin being 58 overall. I absolutely enjoyed making this video because to see how would Tom Glavin play in LA Kings if he would choose NHL over baseball was really fun. I think he made the right decision. He is an incredible baseball player. He's a Hall of Famer and every single time when I play MLB the show and I get his card, I'm quite excited to use it. It was also nice to see him scoring goals even then I call him selfish because he didn't have any assists. Anyway, 
really enjoyed the video i hope you also enjoyed the video if you do please like and subscribe let me know down in the comment sections below what kind of videos you would like me to make maybe you have any other players you want me to bring to the nhl put them in a certain teams and see how their seasons would look like i hope you enjoyed have a good one and see you next time